Before we start talking about the CPAP therapy and its effect on our body, uh, first I want to explain what's going on with our uh, breathing system when we're going in deep sleep. When we're going in deep sleep, our body rests, and when our body rests, and we lose a muscle tone. When this thing happens, and of course, soft tissue which go in the back of our throat have a lot of muscle building there, which become flappy uh, when we go into deep sleep. Uh, first thing is start occlusion, which is going to be partial occlusion on our airways, which causes snoring, and eventually it completely occludes airway and the sleep apnea appears. At that point, we're not inhaling, we're not exhaling. And first thing, when we're not inhaling, we're not getting any oxygen. It's 21% of oxygen in the room here, which require for our body to survive. With the proof of oxygen, our body parts fails. Second part of the sleep apnea, we're not exhaling. That when this, our carbon dioxide we normally exhale, builds up in our body, and to the bloodstream go to brain tissues, which causes our, us to get tired, uh, memory loss, headaches, etc. To protect our airways, uh, they used to do different things. They tried to do surgeries, they tried to do implants, and unfortunately, at this point, only CPAP, which have proper therapy, uh, which is actually resolve sleep apnea. What the CPAP does, it takes the room here, as we say, it's what we need to deliver oxygen. And under pressure, which been uh, designed by the sleep lab technicians during the sleep study, that the amount of pressure going through our upper airways and prevent from collapsing that soft tissue. When it's happened, uh, it's usually happened in deep sleep. Normally people can't feel this because the pressure at this point uh, doing its work and person can sleep and proper have uh, oxygenation and uh, gas exchange in the lungs which needs for our daily life. CPAP therapy have different levels. Unfortunately, uh, some people have a, a so bad obstruction that even CPAP therapy can help to improve oxygenation, then they have to use supplement oxygen. We usually use uh, 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 um, supplement oxygen through oxygen concentrators, which uh, deliver uh, oxygen while you using CPAP machine, and it's prevent uh, desaturation, which causes uh, a lot of problems in our body, as we talked before. Um, main uh, thing is uh, follow the proper instruction from the doctor's office, and uh, it's very important to be consistent. Uh, do every night as much as you can tolerate. If you not, if you skip one or two, three nights, basically you have to start all over again. It's not easy to have a mask on your face. It's not easy to use CPAP machine itself because the pressure, it's positive pressure. It's what the CPAP stands for. It's continuous positive airway pressure. When you inhale, you have no problem. When you try to exhale, the other people have a problem to exhale due to resistance, which is going to be two, three times higher than atmospheric pressure, and that's require extra effort. But do it every night, that's how you're going to get used to that. Eventually, when you be able to sleep more than four hours a night, you have all positive effect on your body, which is going to create a better living, better daily activity, and of course, prevent any heart disease or any problem which caused by deprivation of oxygen. Good luck to everybody.